everyone. I am Ashley Winter, board certified urologist and sexual medicine specialist, just talking to you about what it's like to come to the office and see me. Um, yeah, so when we do a new patient appointment, it is two whole hours, which I know sounds really long, but it is the most amazing thing in the world. And I will tell you why. So, um, just the other day I had a patient come in and the first thing I asked her was just, you know, what are your goals and tell me about yourself. And she started talking about where she is in her life, you know, with her challenges, with, with her family, with her interpersonal relationships, with her career. And it's so wonderful to have the time to know that because then when we focus on their hormones, their intimacy, their pleasure, their pain, we can contextualize it, right? We can contextualize it with their relationship, their stressors, their needs, what they have bandwidth for, how many times they can come back, right? And this is such a fundamental part of giving somebody a plan that's authentic to them, right? And, and knowing, I don't know, just, the, just what's best for them. So uh, yeah, I mean, I worked after, after medical school and residency and fellowship, I worked for a long time in a managed care organization that I thought did great things, but I only could spend sometimes, uh, you know, 10 minutes with people and it didn't allow me to have that type of deep relationship, um, which I feel is just the most amazing thing. So, so yeah, that's, that's when you come in for your first appointment is two whole hours and I'm so excited to learn about your goals and everything about your life. And then of course, about whatever symptoms you may be having. Uh, yeah. Sometimes we send off labs. Many of my patients come in having had certain labs done beforehand. And I am happy to look at those labs. And oftentimes we can make treatment decisions based on those labs alone without having to repeat any blood work. Um, other times we do have to repeat, repeat blood work and we order many different things from your hormone levels to your iron counts. Um, um, yeah, yeah, just lots of different. <laughs> Sometimes we do basic screening as to your cardiovascular health because cardiovascular health is an important part of your sexual health, right? And if your blood vessels aren't healthy, the blood flow to your vagina and your clitoris and your vulva and your penis, all these things are not going to be how we want them to be. So. So sometimes we even do basic blood work, you know, looking at your lipid panel, at your APOB level, at your LP little a level. Um, and I think that's one of the amazing things about doing sexual health in this more comprehensive fashion is that we also look at some of those other things, right? Like, are you anemic? And that's why your hair is thinning and you have no energy. And if you have no energy because your, your iron level is low, then you're not gonna have energy for sex, right? And so that is also part of sexual medicine. So, so, some, so that's the whole <laughs> background on the lab testing. Uh, you know, generally you can do it at whatever lab works for you, um, whether it's a lab core or a quest or, or whatever. Um, but the first thing we do is just talk about you, get the history for, you know, until, until we, we are done, you know, not until a certain amount of time, but until we're done talking about that. And then we'll do a comprehensive exam. Um, you know, so that's of course, everything from your overall health. And then we target it based on what your symptoms are, right? So I have people coming in, let's say they have a certain type of genital pain, right? We're going to be examining even their back or do they have low back pain? We're going to do an internal exam. We're going to examine their pelvic floor muscles. We're of course going to look at their genitals, right? We're going to look at the penis. We're going to look at the clitoris. We're going to look at the vulva. All of this is really important, but of course we do it in what we consider trauma informed care, meaning making sure it's a safe place that you understand what we're going to do before we do it. We talk about it. And most importantly, that we educate you while it's happening. So in that regard, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite medical instruments, <laughs> sorry, I'm like, yeah. which is, I'm getting you, <laughs> which is a mirror, right? And so there are plenty of people who are able to see their genitals, namely people with a penis. 
uh, just when they look down, and that's great. But for everybody else who is not acquainted with their genitals, we have you hold a mirror and I talk you through exactly what we're looking at, right? Because how are you supposed to be able to talk about what hurts and what doesn't hurt, what feels good and what doesn't feel good if you don't have the language to talk about it, but more importantly, where you don't know where it's coming from, right? And, and on top of that, being able to look at your body and understand what your exam is like helps us both you and me understand how you respond to treatments, right? Like if we start you on a hormone, a vulvar hormone, a vaginal hormone, when you come back to the office and we re-examine you, you're able to say, oh, hey, I get it now. Like I get why this looks better. I understand why I feel better. And that empowers you to stay on your treatment plan, right? If you don't, if it's just some random cream you're putting down there, like what does that mean to you, right? Um, so, so it's a tool of empowerment there. And then also just to get rid of shame, right? I mean, I have women who I've spoken to who are, you know, in their sixties and they don't know what their clitoris looks like, or they've never seen it before. Right. And you deserve so much more power than that. Right. And you deserve to not feel ashamed. So, so yeah. What genders do you see? Everyone, <laughs> everybody, everybody. I've seen patients you know, men, women, uh, non-binary patients, transgender patients. We are so happy to see everybody and help you and really bring our complex understanding of anatomy in everybody and hormones in everybody to give you the best possible care. I mean, I have patients who have come see me who are, um, you know, non-binary individuals who went to a gender care clinic and felt as though the care that we were able to give them was actually much more authentic to them because it came informed from a place of both, um, you know, gender affirming care, deep understanding of testosterone and also menopause hormone therapy. And when you combine all those things, you really understand the benefits, not only from giving somebody the body that truly reflects them, but the health benefits, right? Which, which generally, involves both testosterone and estrogen for all bodies just in the right ratios. So um, we see everybody. And where can patients find you online and in person? Yes, so you can find me online. Uh, my social media handle is Ashley G Winter, A-S-H-L-E-Y G, and then winter like the season. And I'm on Twitter slash X at that. I'm on Instagram at that and I'm also very occasionally on TikTok at that. Uh, and then you can find me at our practice website, which is um, I sh rachelrubinmd.com. I should know that <laughs> offhand. Um, yeah, and then you can, if you are in the Los Angeles area, I have a physical office location in Pasadena. Uh, I also do telehealth for all my patients. And if you are anywhere in California, you can do your initial visit as a telehealth visit as well, but we can definitely do follow-ups as telehealth. So yeah, awesome. yeah, Any just, I just would love to see you and I love what I do. And I think, I think the most important thing is to know that our office is a place of no shame. So everything you ever wanted to talk to your doctor about your body and you thought was maybe you were ashamed to talk about because it had something to do with your sex or your gender or your hormones or any other symptom that you were scared to talk about that you thought somebody might br brush off or they did brush you off on. Like, please come to us, please come to me and talk to me about those things because I believe you and I want you to feel better.